Hello YouTube, Dave here again. Today I am going to be answering a question that was asked of me quite a few years ago actually. Uh, and one that I always wanted to do a video on but for some reason never did and I completely forgot about it. So the question was uh, asked back in the day, how many different role playing games do I have in my collection? Uh, the question I believe included like various editions of like uh, role playing games if I had multiple versions. So that's what we're going to go through and we're going to check out today. I'm going to start with my non-D&D uh, RPGs to kind of see just how many of those that I have, including like different editions uh, <clears throat> that I have access to. And for the purposes of this video, in a role-playing game, my collection is anything that I can take off the shelf and run some games of. So it doesn't necessarily mean that I have to have the full rule set but it is a role-playing game that I have access to. So if I only have a starter set, I'm still going to include that because uh, it's something that I can run. I can run a game of it. Like, for example, I have the Pendragon uh, starter set. I recently picked that up. I don't have the core rules as of yet, but if I wanted to sit down and run a Pendragon game with friends, that's something that I can do. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and start over here where we've got our Pathfinder First Edition, so that's one. I'm, I hope I'm going to keep accurate <laughs> track of this. Uh, we'll see sort of how that goes. Uh, but over here we do have the Pendragon starter set, so that's two. We have the Call of Cthulhu, the seventh edition, so that's our third. Uh, we also have, I believe this is like the second edition uh, version of Call of Cthulhu, first or second, so that's four. Uh, we have Pathfinder Second Edition here for five. Uh, Starfinder for six, and then back up here we have uh, Talisman uh, Adventures Fantasy Role Playing Games, so that's seven. Thirteenth Age for eight, and then we've got the Dragon Age Role Playing Game for nine. Uh, and then that's all Starfinder stuff there. Down here we got Twilight 2000, so that's ten. Gamma World, um, so that is. 11. Uh, fifth edition Lord of the Rings role playing. Uh, it technically counts, I think, so we'll say that's uh, 12. Uh, the One Ring is 13. Dragon Bane for 14. Simbaroom, uh, 15. Vossen for 16. Mutant Year Zero for 17. Uh, the Blade Runner role playing game uh, for 18. Cyberpunk uh, Red. For 19, even though it's just a starter set, and the Walking Dead role playing game for 20. Then down here, we have D20 Modern, so that's 21. Uh, we have Call of Cthulhu D20, so that's 22. Star Trek Adventures is 23. Age of Rebellion Star Wars is 24. Then we've got the Alien role playing game over here for 25. And last but certainly not least, for 26, we've got the Alma Matter role-playing game uh, written by a friend of mine who's actually in my Pathfinder 2E slash Starfinder campaign uh, as we speak, as well as the player who portrayed that particular person in a Call of Cthulhu game. So that's what, 25 that we have there? So 25 different role-playing games, not including the different versions of Dungeons & Dragons. So we've got 25. Let's see what we finish off with here. So for 26, we've got the Chainmail or the D&D Zero Edition, Zero E. So that's 26. We have First Edition for 27. Uh, we also have the, the Beckme or the Roll Cyclopedia which I'm going to include as 28. I'm not going to include the Moldvay basic game as a separate edition, so we're still at 28, uh, but we do have that there as well. Then we've got second edition AD&D, so that is 29. Uh, we've got 3.0, which is different enough from 3.5 that it, I would classify it as a, a different edition. So that's what, 30, 31? Uh, we have 4th edition for 32. We've got D&D Essentials, which is different enough, again, that you may want to consider it a different product line. So let's, uh, I guess, go ahead and do that there. So that's, what, 33? 
then we've got fifth edition for 34. And then we also have the 2024 version of D&D as well for 30. So that's like, I suppose, 35 different versions or different role-playing games, different rule sets uh, that I have or updates or additions that I have. So yeah, I guess 35, you could drop that number down a little bit if you wanted to include third and 3.5 as the same, D&D Essentials and fourth edition as the same. And um, if you want to include uh, D&D fifth edition, the 2024 is the same. But that still brings us down to like, what was that, 35? That's still like 32 different uh, different rule sets that I have in my collection. So I hope I did the math right on that, but uh, that would be the answer to that question. So let me know in the comments below, how many role-playing games do you have in your collection? How many do you collect for? Um, how many different ones have you tried? Let me know that in the comments below. Anyway, thank you all so very much for your time. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.